Good morning from Quartzsite, Arizona. We are here at the Escapers Convergence this weekend and we're going to go over to the Big Tent Sale today. They are having a huge RV show over there and we, well, we went over there when there's just like one dealer there and took a peek but they didn't really have what we were looking for. We're so getting the itch. We are. So we're going to go over and look and see what else is there now that the whole RV show is going on. And uh, we'll bring you along to show you the RVs that we look at. And we'll probably be meeting up with some of our new friends that we've made here. Checking out what Quartzsite has to offer on the weekend of the Escapers Convergence. say we are feeling the itch for a new motorhome or we'll call it a new recreational vehicle we're motorhome people we love the ease of a motorhome but is a fifth wheel more for us so we're gonna be looking at toy haulers today uh, ideally something with a 14 foot garage mm -hmm. because our two seat side by side is not what we plan on keeping for the rest of our day. We'd like to have a four seater side by side and room for that in there. And the winter capabilities because we do not want to be limited by the weather anymore. We want insulated to the hilt, dual pane glass, and the truck is obviously going to be four wheel drive so let it snow baby. The ability to travel year round in the RV no matter where we are. Exactly. So let's head on in. Here is a four-seater Polaris, but this is one of the more uh, sporty versions of a side-by-side. -side. I wouldn't mind going with next time. Really? I don't want to because but, we can only fit like half a caribou back here. But, but at Alaska Mining and Diving in Anchorage, and I can't remember the brand, but they had one it was sporty, four-seater, and it had a decent-sized back-end area. Okay, so I'm acceptable getting a sporty version if it has cargo space because, let's face it, we're Alaskans at heart, and we're going to be getting that thing bloody and full of uh, meat for our refrigerator. This one has, like, handles. Look at this. That has a built-in oh shit bar. It does for Becky. <laughs> Toytote.com. This is a uh, toy hauler I have yet to hear of. So, oh, I see the Forest River sign, so I've heard of them. Oops, it turns out that one's not for sale. That's his personal uh, toy hauler for his uh, vendor booth. He really should put a sign up. Okay? Yeah. He's like right by the entrance. And it exactly. Looks like he's got this whole display. It looks like he's displaying the RV. Yep. Oh well, a funny way to start the day. Time to head inside the big white tent. Okay. This place is so crowded. I know. It almost makes me want to just get out of here because it's so crowded. Well, the RVs aren't in here anyway. So I know. Let's go somewhere else. All right, let's work our way towards the exit. Right here. Goodness, get me out of here. Oh. Get me the hell out of that place. That is way too crowded. I know I said we are here to look at uh, some fifth wheels, but one of the uh, big problems in our current motorhome is we don't have a place to be 100% comfortable in our living room. So some new chairs would be nice and we could ditch the uh, good old scissor couch. What do you think? It's very comfortable. Yeah? You can lean it back even farther. That would take up the whole living room though. We'd need uh, slides on both sides. <laughs> we can put those in for you too. <laughs> That's not practical. <laughs> oh, look at this beast. This is a 1974, fully remodeled. And they put slides on a 1974 rig. Gotta love it. 
It has that new smell in here. Yeah. Oh, really? We had one. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, they even put like a... This isn't quite what we thought. Uh, I thought it'd be more of an RV show, and we've already come down and uh, took a, taken a peek at some of the uh, RVs they have on the lot. We did that a couple days ago. But, um, yeah, you know, there's just a bunch of vendors. But we're going to maybe go see if there's a Raptor dealer in town. That's what we really yeah, want. we really want to go look at these uh, toy haulers to see if they are a uh, good fit for us. So are we ready to leave the... Uh, RV For now. show. I mean, it didn't cost us anything to get in, yeah. but I told Ben is like that tent is oh yeah way crowded right now. So maybe we come back a little later when it's not the first morning of the show, and we can walk through and see the vendors. Maybe on a weekday it wouldn't be as crowded. Yeah. But is it is a true. madhouse in there. That might as well be like the circus tent. There's so many people in there. Just not what we do well. Yeah. What'd you get there, Benny? I didn't eat any breakfast today, so I got a gyro. Yeah, it's a sloppy mess. <laughs> and there's no tomatoes on it. No, or french fries. Oh, no french fries. That's just not right. It's not. French fries should not be wrapped in a tortilla or a pita. Yes, they should be. Mm -hmm. And the Latin Quarter they are in Paris. Well, when we were in Greece, they did not put French fries in their gyros. I don't care. The gyros of Paris and the Latin Quarter are the best I've ever eaten, and they had French fries. Ah, foil. <laughs> and also, you've never seen French fries wrapped up in a tortilla when you go to Mexico. But in San Diego, I guess while well, we've left, somebody came up with the bright idea of sticking French fries inside a carne asada burrito. It just doesn't make any sense. They call it California style. <laughs> I guess I'm a purist. Okay, you be a purist. Enjoy your hero. We just heard about a group from the escapers that are heading out to go see some petroglyphs. So we're going to head down that direction. Okay, we've met up with everybody and we're about to hit the trail. I'd say by the looks of things, we have arrived. So much for a secret spot here, I guess. Who said it was secret? <laughs> Everybody here said it was secret. <laughs> yeah. Shh, don't tell anybody, Yeah. Okay? We're gonna take a walk to the spring and there might be some petroglyphs up here. I'm not sure yet. There's some right over in there on that one. All right. These, these two rocks here. Right. And then over there, the, if you go down the trail, uh -huh. there's one that has a lot of petroglyphs on it. Oh, okay, okay cool. Thank you. Well, let's go check out the petroglyphs yeah, instead of a trickle of water. But I think we need to go that way. Here we go. We're walking up on some petroglyphs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just the amount of effort it took. a great ride uh, now we're just gonna uh, hang out and relax because it's a Saturday and probably uh, just watch a movie because we can't 